How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to Let's Travel to the Most Extreme Place in the Universe by In A Nutshell. All right, so I'm really, really excited to get back into er, Kurtz to get in a nutshell, whatever you want to call him, because I cannot say the real name for the life of me. But anyway, like, I love what they're doing, like, here lately, like, the newer videos, because, like, they take the perspective and they just, like, flip it on the head, man. Like, they they really, really love doing, like, the size comparison, for example. That's a big example for me. That's one that I absolutely love, man. I love seeing the size comparisons of, like, the black holes or, like, the suns and the different stars and stuff like that. It's just so interesting. So when it says, let's travel to the most extreme place in the universe I think that's a I think that's that's not true I, I obviously you expect like what's on screen right now the universe the vast universe like what can possibly be out there but I think it might have to do with something that's closer than you think but I have no idea that's just me speculating so without any further ado here's let's travel to the most extreme place in the universe the universe is pretty I mean the vibes already and very top notch Yes, it is. Of billions of galaxies with sextillions of stars and planets. Oh, and space. In the of it all, so beautiful. With you the words of Markiplier. But as enormous as the universe seems looking up, it seems to get even larger when you start looking down. Was I right? You are towering over Let's go! worlds within worlds <laughs> within worlds. I know how Kurtz to get rolls. And yet hidden from your experience. Oh, I love this. Let's go on a journey. Okay. We'll start in a park about a thousand meters long, Ooh. enough for a 15 minute walk. Every okay. time you click this magic button, we'll become a thousand times smaller. Please I love everything about this. this. Oh my god. Suit so you don't die and can We're still see. Ant Man. Ready? Let's go. Oh my god. That was everything I was literally just talking about. It's like this perspective and size comparisons. Oh my god. I swear I didn't watch this yet. The miniature realm. The of the sand, That's the reason why I love Ant-Man, dude. The, the comparison. Look at that. As as and games story. like Grounded. I love it, dude. A square meter of lawn is now a dense metropolitan area with 100,000 blades or two Manhattans worth of grass towers. Oh, my. From your new tiny perspective, Somewhere. the park that you could quickly stroll through before is now the size of France. That is Crossing amazing. Take at least a week. I mean, not if you're in that human scenario. Humans loom over you. Human-sized humans, you say? The Empire State Building. Wow, Their that detail falling from and the size. To wow. Horizon. A bee the size of a helicopter lands near you, oh. making the ground shake as its hairy carapace vibrates with each wing beat. Oh man, I can't even to begin escape, to pronounce some words he's saying. To move because the air is so gooey. Before the air is gooey, you say? That's something I didn't. Noticeable. But Think as you're about. a thousand times smaller, it's as if the air has become a thousand times denser. That's it cool, like dude. It's moving through honey. Flying insects like bees use this to their advantage. Their wings are not made to gliding, okay. but like paddles that row through the air. Scaled up to human size, Again, man, something you didn't even think about. Jet, except it couldn't even take off because it would be too heavy for its wings. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, going the even smaller. Realm. Oh, are we in the quantum realm yet? Realm and are now less than two micrometers tall, about the size of an E. coli bacteria. Huh. From your new Hopefully you don't have to fight it. The park you started in is now a million kilometers wide to you. If wow. you walked non-stop, it would take some 25 years to cross it. It's hard to grasp just how huge the microscopic world is to its tiny inhabitants. Oh, do tell though, please. Is now the size of Mount Everest, oh. towering high into the sky. But alive, Hopefully it doesn't even see you. And vibrating. The air here feels almost solid to you. Oh. On a human scale, it would be as viscous as lava. poor little face. Extremely hard to push through. What? The blade oh, he said hard. I thought he said so hot. I was like, can't see its edges, stretching as wide as Paris would to a regular size. That's human. freaking nuts, you dude. That That's like one blade of grass. Dead patches like deserts. He hasn't got off the blade. Is left behind by voracious aphids. But if you look closely, this is not terrain. These are rows of individual cells, oh. the size of a house with hard exteriors like glass the shells. The powerhouse of the cell. Every few cells, there are huge openings called stomata, like mouths. I'm not going to explain what that looks like. Oxygen. Oh. Suddenly, the gigantic bee begins to move. Uh oh. A construct made of rigid pieces that slide oh against each other. Oh my god. Like a suit of armor. It takes off to escape a drop of water the size of an asteroid that fell from another <laughs> place grass and is now rushing at you at breathtaking speeds. My man! You brace for impact, but instead of feeling a strong Whoa. punch, you just get sucked in. Okay! You try to swim, but the water feels thick Hopefully and sticky you can breathe in that helmet. and holds onto your limbs like glue. 
air molecules are free spirits, while water molecules act more like social creatures that group oh, together whenever okay. possible. They pull on each so other the air and create hippies. a relatively strong cohesive force that traps you. You can't help it, but you're still moving, tumbling oh. in all directions, helplessly dragged along by an invisible current. Someone get that man's belt. Floating in this miniature lake are tens of thousands of microorganisms. Oh, they take on the, he's forms, in a drop of water. Of oh my God. Aimlessly, others like Euglena oxyuris cells oh. pass you like freight trains. But most it's like Star Wars like or something, man. Like the, the prequels, the all the ships flying around and stuff. That act like supercharged propellers. To you gotta get around some way, right? Onto them like glue, Let's go! Some move hundreds of body lengths per second. Equivalent to a person oh, oh, oh. shoveling through mud at over 600 kilometers. Let's go! Oh, I However, love that! However, bacteria weigh so little, and water is so viscous, that they basically viscous. have no inertia. There is no gliding on this scale. The result is a weird okay. jerky motion that's hard to keep yeah. track of. Oh, what's Maybe that game where you eat a bunch of things and you get bigger? If we go but then you could get eaten? The molecule realm. My man. You've become the size of a molecule, just under two nanometers wide. Yeah, I cannot Actually, comprehend that. Tiny scale, we got past that part. <laughs> seems as big as the moon to a regular human. Oh. The grass it rests on could reach from the tip of Alaska to the end of Australia. And the park is now almost the size of the solar system. <laughs> But instead of mostly empty space, it is filled with stuff. Yeah, I cannot imagine, my Everywhere man. you look, there are innumerable amounts of molecules and atoms. The rigid walls of the grass cells beneath you are clearly Oh, that is so cool. The water droplet contains nearly a sextillion water molecules That's that impressive. are all in motion. Water is actually a storm of H2O molecules okay. smashing into each other hundreds of trillions of times a second. Each of them yeah, to make it look cool. speeds of around 2,300 kilometers an hour huh. and bombard their surroundings mercilessly, what? sending it, small objects can that collide in into all you? directions. Okay, I might answer my question. This is the source of the <laughs> that you noticed when you were a thousand times larger. <laughs> but now you Scaling can see it. speed up to the oh. human scale is impossible, as a human-sized molecule would be 2,000 times faster than the speed of light. All this furious motion comes from heat. <laughs> oh. but heat is a bit abstract at our human scale. Okay, now it's scale. heat where you touch something and get a vague sense of whether it's hot or cold. Yes. But down here, you really feel what heat is. <laughs> the motion of molecules, vibrating, twisting, and colliding as if they're inside a furious ball pit. Oh, this is when beautiful, these dude. lose heat, they move more slowly and collide less often. Uh-huh. When they gain heat, they speed up and smash together with renewed fervor. Hence the boil. is basically the measure of the <laughs> average speed of these fantastic dancers performing all day. Fantastic dancers, that's a Suddenly, very good way to put it. Hits you oh boy. Hard, okay, and you're prove my point, thank you. Or er, answered my question. And here, you see something unexpected. What? The stuff between the air molecules. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> between the molecules that make up the air, there is a vacuum. Dude, like I said, man, average, I cannot comprehend how small he is. about 60 nanometers, which is about the length of a hockey rink if it were the size of a human. If we were to compress all the molecules and atoms buzzing oh. around in the room you're watching this in, they would only fill about 0.1% <laughs> of its volume. 99.9% .9 of the space around you is a vacuum. You just don't notice it. Which also means that every time you take this a breath, is literally blowing my mind, man. This is so good. Atoms. The subatomic realm. At your so let's go even smaller. Scale starts to lose its meaning. A human would be nearly two billion kilometers tall relative to you, so large they could stretch their Hi. arms from the sun to Saturn. Oh my God! An atomic nucleus would be the size of a grain of sand you could hold on the tip of your finger. That grain holds 99.97% of the atom's mass. My man. The rest, a sphere of influence about as large as the Eiffel Tower from your oh. perspective, is filled with an electron cloud. That's basically all the places where electrons might be at any given moment in time. This electrons is mind-blowing stuff, my man. Creating a new and vibrating mess of different shapes with every new moment. Can Unlike your human brain motion, even process what is happening? The atomic nuclei are chaotic blurs. Oh! They bulge, roll, quiver, and breathe. They hold breathe? Back the same energy that powers nuclear I guess they bombs, would, right? And it oh, doesn't let them sit still. Okay. They twist and vibrate six times. Oh, they're all cracked. A second. Oh my god. It's time to end our journey and return to what Return. You what? Stop it. Oh, you went even further. The smallest place we have reached what? the bottom. Why is there a question mark? Reality and unreality. 
The scale here is the Don't do this to me, man. Which is the distance light travels in a Planck time. Oh. Planck time is the time it takes light to travel a Planck length. What is okay. happening? None of our models of the universe make sense at scales smaller than this. So for now, at least he's tried. We think that oh, down no. here, like Ant Man with the, existence and get the disc, put it in your belt. It worked for him. Creating oh, a that's pretty though. Kind of brick and morty vibe. Go even smaller. Please we don't. don't know. It's time to return. Wombo. <laughs> oh, I love that reference. Pretty sure I'm the only one that got that. I love this part of the video, man. They do it sometimes, especially with the scale videos. Oh, beautiful. All went full circle. The universe is large and strange. So incredible. Maybe we should look down. Strange. But if you look down into the tiny and extremely tiny God, I love their videos, dude. So good. Stranger. In the end, the perfect place might be where you are right now. Not too big, not too small. Oh, I love you. I love you, Kurt Scat. Never change, my man. Positively, positivity is key. Happening, Frankenstein. It is Halloween. Hi. Oh. I'm oh. ready. My man. We did it. This got we insane. Were. Right under our noses, there's so much hidden. By that George, we never get he to did see it. With our own eyes, entire realms of bizarre structures and outlandish creatures and here i thought it was over what a magical oh. place this is maybe a don't pop that molds, single celled organisms that work together and form fungus like structures but we don't have time to hang out with these calm oh. fellows any longer calm fellows okay Shh. now we're in the kingdom of the mighty tardigrades Ooh. don't disturb them in their death-like slumber don't worry though they'll wake up once the conditions are less rough okay oh, didn't mean to get in the way your cells are hustling to keep you alive, coordinating myriads of proteins. That's in me? This might be the weirdest place yet, with no up or down. Ah, that's There's so cool. There's much going on. Better move There's on. probably an ad, but dude, I am on board. Now, we're inside one of the parts that allow you to watch this video. Oh. The structure of a microchip is so small, microchip. it really breaks the rules of the quantum realm. Oh, Wait, that's like that Sonic level. Something's happening. You're becoming Electro? These hidden worlds My are man. All part of our 12,023 human era calendar. Like I say, man, they definitely this know how to sell. You can join us on a journey through the microcosm. With each turn of the page, God, their calendars. you reveal a new world you didn't know existed. Every year goes right so hard. You know the drill by now. As uh, always, it's a super high quality calendar. Oh, and it's so beautiful. And only available for a short time. We also have a few special deals for you in our shop. Oh, if you got a new bird, man, I might jump on that. You can take home with you. I do need to and get a poster, though. Year, Posters true, slap. Every calendar purchase directly supports what we do here at Cods. Look at all the pretty pictures. And that's not just creating videos, but sparking curiosity all around the world. That's what I love about so the channel, man. You, like can everyone can get on board. I love that. Appreciation for space, nature, and life in people everywhere. Hey, you got Thank the bird. You so much for making this possible. Have a wonderful again. Thank you for making it. See you down in January. Oh, thank you. It's still October, but right on, man. This is so cool, man. I love the feel, just the feel of their videos every single time. I love it. So, all right, man. That was positively absolute. It's just so insane. Every algorithm that you could possibly define amazing. That's what it was, man. It's just I love their perspective videos, like their size comparison, like which this was, you know, like technically a size comparison, except the thing wasn't changing the world was you know like you were the one changing which was so unique i love that so much man it's just the possibilities that you could like you can't even fathom in your brain you know like this video does help out you know with like the cool little visuals and stuff but even they had to address like yo some of this isn't right like we had to make this visually appealing like we couldn't do random for the sake of random like how it actually is and like it's just so cool like how they have that and like i keep saying in every single video of theirs that i react to it's just the the fact that they make this into little bite-sized pieces to make little birds with it they make it so enjoyable to watch and yet you're actually soaking up information as you're enjoying a video on YouTube like I think that is so cool like to do like as a channel that's just really really awesome and like anyone can get behind it it's so cool and like you get curious with the scientific video of theirs and then you start yourself you know you start thinking about other ways and other scientific methods and stuff like that on your own and you get like like, like jumping off point you know and that's a really good way to look at this channel it's just it's so cool it's scientific like to the extreme man 
I can't get enough of it. I love it so much. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member, you get videos a day early, and check out the merch. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later days.